Uh, hello, welcome to the introductory video for the graduate course ECE 252B, Computer Arithmetic, for spring 2020. As you know, courses during spring will be offered online. So I've started recording videos for my course. This is the first one that introduces you to the course. And you should see it before we start the actual course content. And then the course contents will be scheduled on YouTube Live, same channel, uh, during the regularly uh, designated uh, class times for my course, uh, which are Mondays and Wednesdays at 12 to 1.30. So Mondays and Wednesdays, 12 to 1.30, starting uh, on March 30th, the first lecture. Now, for this course, you need to access two websites, both of them managed by me. And one of them is the course website, uh, and the other one is the textbook website. Uh, you can find both of these if you go to any of my departmental web pages and look at the menu on the left edge of the page, where under teaching, you will find the entry for ECE 252B. And under textbooks, you can find the entry for uh, my textbook on computer arithmetic. Uh, the textbook is required. Make sure you get the second edition dated uh, 2010 because it's quite different from the first edition dated 2000. Homework will be assigned from the textbook and the uh, material in the lectures will follow very closely uh, the content of the textbook. Uh, so given that, exams will be impractical this quarter. I'm basing the grading of the course on four homework assignments worth 40% of your grade and a research paper worth 60% of your grade. Now on the course webpage, you see the, some entries for uh, research paper guideline and other information uh, about how to prepare your research paper. Uh, there's also a course schedule that indicates what will be covered, including chapter numbers in the textbook uh, during each of our uh, 20 or so lectures. As I mentioned, uh, the course will be held from 12 to 1.30 p.m., Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, it's scheduled for Phelps 14.31, which is irre irrelevant now that we are doing things online. And my office hours, where you can come see me with any questions, are Mondays. 3 to 4 p.m., Mondays 3 to 4 p.m., and Wednesdays 3 to 5 p.m., Wednesdays 3 to 5 p.m. And my office number, uh, in case you don't know, is in Harold Frank Hall, room number 5155, 5155 on the fifth floor. So let me tell you a little bit about the course webpage that you should consult regularly and the schedule of our lectures. The course webpage starts with a section called course announcements. And this is the section where you will see all important uh, requirements for the course, changes in schedules, whatever you need to know will be there so that you don't have to scan the entire long web page to see what's new. So consult the course announcement section uh, 
uh, regularly. Right after that, there's a section called course calendar. And that's where lecture by lecture schedule for the course is provided. So for example, on the, under uh, Monday, March 30th, you see we will cover redundant number representations. And I'll put the link to the video of the lecture right to the, next to that entry. So the, this applies to all the lectures of the course. And then you see in that schedule that due dates for homeworks and assignment dates are also specified. So homework one will be posted no later than April 6th, and it will be due on April Wednesday, April 15th. So the four homework assignments are specified in terms of the assignment date and the due date. There are also milestones for the research paper. In particular, the two most important ones are the fact that the research topics will be assigned by Wednesday, April 22nd, April 22. Uh, preliminary references will be due on Wednesday, May 6th. So all of these are listed in the schedule, okay? You don't have to remember them as I speak. And then the paper itself will be due on Wednesday, June 10th. That's a hard deadline because I have to submit the course grade by June 17th, read the research paper papers and evaluate them. Okay, so if you go further down, there's a section on the page for homework assignments, placeholders where I will post the homework. Uh, further down, there's a section on research topics. That one has not yet been updated, updated for the current quarter, but there are a lot, a lot of research topics specified there in terms of the title, of the research and in many cases references that to get you started. So you may want to take a quick look at that, but uh, I will update those topics and we'll select a subset of them that we will work on in the current quarter. So after the section on research topics, which is a fairly long one, There are 55 topics there uh, as we speak. Uh, there's a section grade statistics. This is where I will post uh, the distribution of the grades, like minimum, maximum, mean, and median as each homework is graded. And at the end of the quarter for the research paper and uh, the final course grades. There's a section on references where the primary textbook, my book on computer arithmetic, Oxford University Press, second edition, 2010, is listed. And also a recommended uh, optional textbook that you don't have to buy, but it's a good book because if you're interested in practical implementation of arithmetic circuits, which we don't do in this course, we don't have a lab or a practical component, that book basically gives you a lot of designs in uh, uh, Verilog HDL. So you can actually uh, implement circuits and see what an implemented circuit will look like, what its performance is, power consumption, and so on. There's also a list of other useful books for reference that you may find those useful for your research. Uh, there's a section, Research Resources, which tells you about the IEEE Symposium on Computer Arithmetic, which is the primary forum where all, the primary journal for computer arithmetic research.
Okay, that's about it for this introductory lecture. There is a final section on the course uh, webpage uh, labeled miscellaneous information. There's a paragraph on motivation, uh, the catalog entry for the course, and the history of the course, including links to the previous offerings of the course, if you're just curious to see what was done. Um, so uh, I end uh, this introductory video at this point and look forward to connecting with you uh, at 12 noon on Monday, March 30th for the first lecture of the course. Uh, feel free to email me with any questions and concerns that you have about the course. And I'll think about adding uh, some mechanism for discussions, uh, a forum, so to speak, where we can communicate more easily and the students in the course can communicate with each other and exchange ideas. So uh, bye for now and see you soon.